one constant in the village is all the comings and goings. New faces appearing, and old ones setting off for pastures new. Someone going? Demisi, the gorilla, has been told that he has to go, but he's not so keen. No. The big question is, how do you persuade 30 stone of muscle to do something that they don't want to do? Yeah, I moved here five years ago to live with the boys, and I haven't looked back, really. It's a real blast. Are you originally from Stuttgart? No, I'm actually from Frankfurt, but a couple of the other boys are from Stutti before moving here. What can you tell from my accent? Uh, now I asked Craig, he told me. Oh yeah, Craig would know. Yeah. The thing is, I hear there are plans for me to move on, but if they think that I'm going to leave here without putting up a fight, then they really don't know me at all. He's leaving the bachelorhood and going into married life. I think he's going in with four females. But the hell is a female? He'll enjoy it though, hopefully. Over the next couple of weeks, Craig is going to have to pit his wits against Demisi in a battle of wills. The question is, who will come out on top? Demisi is eight years old, weighs 30 stone, and is in the prime of his life. Yeah, we live on the island, which is pretty cool, eating, chilling, and playing with stuff. I weighed only 12 stone when I got here, but now look at me. Touch my guns. No, kiss my guns, I dare you. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I work out. With Demisi in the prime of his life, the higher powers in the village have decided it's time that Demisi takes the next big step and gets a troop he can call his own. But the troop lined up is hundreds of miles away down the A31 in a village near Chessington. And Demisi... No way. ...is reluctant to go. It's time for Craig to get his... Uh, ..thing involved. Craig has been looking after Demisi since he arrived and has grown quite attached to him. I think with Demisi it could go either way because he's, he's actually quite intelligent. He knows when, he's, when something's not quite right. He knows it when you're up to something. I say he's very wary. I am very. We can't predict how easy it'll be. It could be a battle of wills. Really. I'm looking forward to the challenge, to be honest. The village has a very unique group of gorillas. Oh! As lowland gorillas are so endangered, it's important that good breeding groups are kept. So that if one day they need to repopulate the wild, there are gorillas to do so. But keeping gorillas is complicated. Yes, yes, complicated, right. You just saw me eating some wood, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, bugger. In the wild, gorillas live in large family groups led by one silverback. Well, that would be me. Under him is a subordinate male. That's me. And then all the females and their youngsters. What's a female? I'm worried. They're looking at me. What's a female? Steve! Steve, what's a female? In the wild, males like Demisi leave their troop to start a troop of their own. But that can take years. So what do you do with these in-between males? Something has to be done. They won't be tolerated by the silverback. I won't tolerate it. Answer. You create a bachelor troop. But how does this work? A bachelor group is basically an all-male group. No females in sight to actually cause any squabbles. Neil Bement is curator of mammals. That's why he has a sign on his bookcase and another one on his door saying exactly that. So, Neil, what is the point in having a bachelor troop? Um, the reason the gorillas are being managed in this way is because in the wild, they have a family structure, and usually when young males get to about 10, 12 years old, they start to challenge dad. They'll be told, all right, on your bike, son, you've got to go and make your own way. But if they do get pushed out in zoos, then you've got a silverback, you know, pretty well on his own, 
and he's going to not have as stimulating a life. So what we've been trying to do is pull out young males, which we know are going to maybe have problems later on, and form little bachelor groups so they get that social contact like they do here. And then at some stage as they mature, they'll get called upon for breeding activities or maybe to lead other bachelor groups. And Demisi is certainly an impressive animal. He doesn't know what's in store for him, but he's going to be well chuffed when he gets to Chessington and several females, all of which have been uh, awaiting his arrival. But Demisi is not the only one moving. All right, my name's Terry, and I'm a tapier. I live in this place from a bird, Shirley. Hello, hello. What's all this then? New gate, lads. What's wrong with the old ones? Rumour on the great van is that they are moving you. Nah, nah. I'm established. Dave told me that the capybara are putting a complaint about you. Supposedly, you're a nightmare to live with. I'm a nightmare to live with? Stuck up, little monkeys. What are you on about? Uh... He is he's a nightmare to live with. I'm a nightmare. Uh. Did you just wee up that wall? It's mine, innit? I mean, his his scum, his absolute scum. Yeah, absolutely, Marjorie, scum, pure scum. Oh, he better not. Oh, he isn't. Oh, please, say he isn't. Oh, Bruce. Oh my God, he is. Oh. I had literally just run that ball. That, Shirley, is a movement of that death kit. What's his name? Beethoven. That's it. He'd have been proud of that. Unbelievable. He's even pleased with himself. I am really very sorry, Mrs Capybara. He's like a force of nature when he's like this. There is really nothing I can do. I'm really very sorry. The man is, like, basically a pig. He's an yeah, absolute he's pig. Yeah. Well, Dave, give us another one, mate. Go on, Dave, mate. Give us another one of those apples. Come on, free old pal, tell. Any animal move always attracts a lot of people. A lot of big wooden boards, a lot of trucks, and a lot of straw. Lots and lots of straw. What be the coming here with you, Dave? You dole out the apples, mate, and I'll go anywhere with you. Oh, yes. He doesn't want moving, he wants putting down. You know what, Shell? Maybe this move's not a bad thing. You know, broaden me horizons, travel. I might even take up poetry again. You know, learn a language or something. I don't know. Are you serious? Who am I? I'm staying here. You go if you wanna. Maybe he's right. Maybe I should travel, see the world. Find some other odd toed ungulates that think the way I do. Fragile souls looking for themselves. That's it, I'm doing it. You have to find your own way now, Terry. There is some milk in the fridge and the bins go out Thursdays. I'm leaving you to find new friends, lead a new life. Goodbye, Terry. I've got my mobile if you need to call. Boys, Daddy's home. Told you, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, kill me. Kill me now. Oh, kill me. Meanwhile, back at the gorilla house... Oh, hiya. Craig has enlisted the help of Lee. Utilising the old adage, two heads are better than one. And they'll need to use both of them if they're going to outsmart an incredibly clever gorilla. Oh, you flatter me. But you are quite right. I am incredibly clever. Their plan is to daily introduce Demisi's travelling crate into his living space. Until eventually, it becomes so normal that Demisi doesn't think anything of going in and out of it. So, Lee, do you think he's wondering what's going on? Definitely, yeah. Anything out of our normal routine, you know, he'll be, um, he'll be wondering what's going on. I'm not wondering. I know exactly what's going on. He can technically see through, he can see the crate and what's going on and everything, you know. He can see it from the outside. I can see it inside your mind, inside Lee. When he's in this next den. It's one thing getting him used to the crate, but how do you actually get him into the crate? Just bits of fruit, really. Banana, apple, and we've got some uh, milk as well. The idea with a drink is if we give him solid food, he can just come in and grab it and run away. But if he wants to take some drink, then he's got to sit in the end and let us pour it into his mouth. With the plan now in place, 
All the boys have to do is now sit back and wait. But like anything involving a huge... And clever. Yes, all right. And clever 30-stone gorilla. It's never as easy as it seems. Let's battle commence. Oh, <laughs> my